Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at a paint spray station and on my screen here you will see this is our station itself. We have a start and a stop button and we have valve one which controls this cylinder and the cylinder will move back. It'll dump in a feed magazine uh, the next box down and we'll push it over. Sensor three will detect that box it will be put onto the conveyor belt and the spray um, paint from valve 2 will turn on. It will paint that box and then deposit it into a hopper. This will continue until my hopper is full. Then the hopper will use valve 3. It will extend for a certain time period to empty the hopper. Then it will return and then the process will stop. So that, that's what has to happen. And we're going to be using the five steps to programming development as we talked about in the previous uh, 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 videos. And we will be using the Do More software. It comes with a simulator. And this is offered free of charge from Automation Direct. Now the first thing to do is uh, we have to know what the task is, which we've just uh, finished doing. Then what we do is define the inputs and outputs. And I will call up the uh, Do More software. And you can see here, here's my start, my stop, and then my three sensors coming in. For my outputs, I have my motor or my conveyor. Valve 1, which controls putting the boxes onto the conveyor. Valve 2, which is my spray. And valve 3 is cylinder for the hopper. Now, once I have that, then I want to develop the logical sequence of operation. Usually I do this by using a sequence table and if we call up our sequence table um, it will look something like this. So what I've done is besides my regular uh, inputs uh, being the sensor 3, I've also know that I need a counter because I'm going to count so many boxes going into the hopper before we move it and we're going to have a timer to stop the conveyor uh, the last uh, box so that it will continue on and load the hopper and then we'll have a time to unload the hopper. My outputs, I have my motor and my three valves. Then I'm going to have my hopper counter, my stop conveyor timer, and my unload hopper timer. So that looks like it, it's all my inputs and outputs are there. And to read the sequence table, I look at the first row here, step one. And I can see everything's off. I have my S2 valve extended. And what I'll do is we'll just move that over a little bit. And we'll call up, whoop, uh, we'll call up the, the actual um, information here. And you see my S2 is on because at default location, valve 1 is on. So it's extended. And I have my stop. So that means nothing is on. So it's basically our start state. Then we hit the, um, on the next step, we hit our push button, um, start. And what it will do is that it will activate cylinder valve one. So we continue on through filling up. You can see here's my count here. And what I would recommend is going to our website and viewing this uh, sequence table and following that along with the logic in the PLC. And that is our next step. Once we have the sequence table, we understand fully what we want to do. Then we go back and then we can program. So looking at the program, we have um, our main um, start and stop. Now what I like to do is set up a process start. So this was, when this bit turns on, it actually starts everything. And what we're going to do is we'll just call up the simulator as well. We are running right now. So our um, X1 or our stop is normally closed, so it's going to be on. Then we have our, our extended, which is our three. And then we'll start. Okay, so we see here our start signal comes on. Then, as soon as we get a box detected, which is X4, the conveyor will then start. Um, and then it will move over, and also the paint spray 
So there's our motor sprayer and our paint spray. You'll notice that I use internal relays here. They're memory retentive, so that if we stop this, it will continue to run. Um, or we lose power to the PLC. This logic here controls my um, first valve putting boxes on and my box cylinder. Then I have my count right here. So you can see that basically goes off of X4, which is my sensor one. So you can see here, my count value keeps on continuing as I pulse it up to the count of six. When I do that, I automatically get um, my uh, start signal, basically my internal one. It stops, it moves, it moves the cylinder um, over, valve three, waits for a certain time, then comes back, which is my hopper on load. So there's the entire program. So when we put it together, we can actually see a, a working uh, a GIF of this, and it looks something like this. So hit start, you can see the boxes as being loaded up and paint sprayed, thrown into here. So we get six in here, that moves over, unloads, comes back, resets the cycle, then you're ready to start again. So thanks for listening. Um, go to our website, as mentioned before, it's www.accautomation.ca.